Hey everybody, Rory here. All right, I just wanted to share, I have not had a moment to come back and discuss the uh, energy transmutation, the reprogram, deprogramming and reprogramming of the subconscious mind that took place Tuesday evening. Um, I was told that it's called energy transmutation. That's what was called whatever we did that night. And it was really interesting. We did it live on in our community. So we were on Zoom in our community. And then we also were on TikTok. I tried to go live on Instagram, but it just did not work. I, I don't know what I'm doing with the whole Instagram thing. So my apologies, those of you who were waiting on Instagram. I, I, I think I know how to do TikTok now, but Instagram, not so much. But anyway... Um, we had a great time. It was um, those who attended that were in the community, they had all done their homework. So they, they were prepared for how, you know, what was going to take place. And the replay is in the community. Um, it, I don't know if you can do that long of a video on on um, TikTok. And I'll have to see if it's in my highest good or in everyone's highest good to post it on YouTube because there's preparation that needs to take place. It may need to stay in the community. But anyway, it was very interesting. I was like, oh my stars. So first, and there is some backstory. So I would have to tell you, we had some spiritual interference at the beginning and it was nefarious interference. And I'll just tell you the story. Okay, so <sighs> this, I don't even know if I should tell this far. So I, I'm going to wait. I might tell y'all the backstory of where the spiritual interference came from, but I just want to check first with Source to see if that's what I should do because it's an ongoing scenario and I don't know if I should reveal what's going on yet. So anyway, we finally got things going and... um on my end, I was doing some work to keep the frequencies very, very high for the spiritual work to take place. And at the beginning, there was some interference trying to prevent that from happening. So, but then I started, I just started doing some chanting and then I was able to fix the spiritual interference. So then we did the work and it was, I did some explanation at first, then we went into it. And honestly, so first I walked everybody through a healing. So we did a healing first. Um, and this was on the collective group that was present, but also this was on whoever is going to watch it in the future. So some of the things that I felt and that I was working on healing for the group may not have been for the present group. It may be for viewers for later. So this was very interesting, but I've done videos um, that are healings, not just for those who are present before, but it was very interesting. Um, we stopped in several places to do extra work on those who would be watching. Um, so that was interesting. And I'm telling you, when I do healing work, I never know what it's going to look like. It is not scripted at all. And I just go where spirit leads me. So we, first we did the healing work, right? And within the healing work, we were doing some deprogramming and reprogramming in the healing work. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like we're doing some now. I thought this was going to be later, you know? And so then we did that part. Then when it got time to actually do the deprogramming, we did that part. And, and I was like, okay, um, source creator, can you just give me a signal when it's time to stop this part? Right. And I'm saying this in my head, right? <laughs> but it was not stopping. And I was like, whatever. And and then it felt like something took over um, my healing work. And I felt very connected. I saw this beam like come and it was like very bright. 
and I asked later, but I felt like I was connected with Source Creator at that time. Um, not one of the deities, not Mother God, not one of the deities. I was connected with Source Creator, and um, and 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 I'm gonna say she, even though Source Creator does not have a gender, but she told me to refer to her as a she if I because I'm used to using gender. So she kind of took over, and then the healing was going over here, and I could just feel my hands moving and i was not moving them and it was it was really amazing um i have not looked at the replay to see what was going on on the camera to see if i saw any orbs i haven't watched the replay i often don't watch my replays um but it was it was really interesting and then i kept saying well let me know when we're done but then when when she took over it was like whatever and then when we were done with the deprogramming so after that then i would have to give instructions for the reprogramming right and so when i came it was like i came back fully present and i wasn't fully present and i felt woozy i was like i wasn't sure like i could even talk right and then I gave instructions and it was very interesting and then 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 I was connected again but maybe I wasn't deep maybe I wasn't disconnected I don't know then okay so before I got reconnected we got this spiritual interference again and it shut off my um, frequencies that I was playing in my background it shut it off it shut the whole computer off and I was like okay and so but I was still connected and then the connection got even stronger and then we continued and I knew that I didn't need the frequency anymore the it, everything was so high vibrational I didn't need it anymore and and source creator was with me and so then we did the reprogramming and then she was feeding words to me and I was just was saying whatever she said whatever was coming out of my mouth okay it wasn't like I was hearing words to say I was just pouring the words out and then and then we did the reprogramming and I did the well I guess we did the healing work for the reprogramming and then we were done. So then at that point, we disconnected from the TikTok platform. And then that's when I realized that we were not recording in our community. <laughs> so that was interesting. No, I didn't realize it then. I realized it much later um, that we weren't recording in our community. But it was it was fine. You know, we still had the recording from TikTok. It just wouldn't have been an, as nice uh, format <laughs> as from our Zoom recording. But all in all, it was pretty good. I mean, I shouldn't say pretty good. It was excellent. And then Source Creator gave us some messages in the community, in private, in the community. And they got to download what they experienced. They got to share some of their story and their focal points for the exercise. And it just was amazing. Now, there was... Uh, there were, I should say, a few people that were saying, how do I join the community? And I was like, oh no, because I was not reading anything during this exercise. So in in our link, you just go to goddesslicensecoven.com and that's how you can join. And it's on all of our links and profiles and stuff. But anyway, I just thought I would download with you guys and share with you how our event went because it was amazing i did hear that she does not want me to repeat it that's what she said you can use what we did for 
your reprogramming and deprogramming as long as you do the work. And those of you who were not in the community, over the next seven days, those of you who did the exercise, over the next seven days, journal and pay attention to all the shifts that take place in your life and make sure you are continuing to infuse yourselves as I uh, shared in all the instructions. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to close on this one.